How's everyone doing today? My name is Zach Allen. I am the Director of Instruction out at DeBell Golf Course in beautiful Burbank, California. So I'm going to share a great drill with you today. It's called the Counterfall, and it's a two-fold drill. It should help you hit down on the ball so you can better compress your irons and add a little more distance for those of you that feel a little scoopy or a little lifty through the hitting area. But also, it's a, it's a great drill that will teach you how to gain more power by being able to develop more lag in your shoulders. Okay, lag, all lag means is follow. And typically we talk about club head lag, um, you know, uh, maintaining the angle, but you can actually have lag in your shoulders too. And this drill is gonna show you how to do that. So what you could do is next time you get out to the driving range, take a small or medium bucket, put it back by your right foot. And what I would start to feel first off is just take a nice little short iron. You wanna start to feel your body working this way more in the downswing, okay? So you can see here, as I'm starting down, I'm taking my left knee and my left shoulder, and I'm moving them back to the ball all at once. And at first, it probably doesn't look that strange in the camera, but as you do it, it's gonna feel like you're the leaning tower of Pisa as you start your downswing. Especially for those of you that either go this way on your downswing, or for those of you that spin your shoulders this way. This is gonna feel like a very different golf position. As you can see here, my left knee is working towards the ball of my left foot. My weight is transferring but I'm also moving my top half. A lot of you will move this part down here, but you forget to move the top part. So put your right foot up on that bucket and then take some half swings, maybe just pumping it down a couple times first just to feel that. And you can feel right away, this golf club is gonna drive that ball straight into the ground and I'm gonna get some good distance out of it. So half swing. Definitely had the sensation there of being able to lean on that golf ball so I could get a little more shaft lean and be able to take a better divot. Okay, but so as you take that drill farther and into a more normal golf swing, because that is a little exaggerated there, I wouldn't want to hit down on, on an iron that much all the time. But move the bucket away and then start to get a feeling of your shoulders staying this way longer. So they're staying close to the target longer as I make my transition. So rather than this spinning out and that, that causing me to lose a little bit of distance, because once my shoulders start to lag more, the hands, arms, and club unit will also start to lag more. And then you can go ahead and hit some shots with that same sensation. So I hope both of those thoughts give you a little something to work on and help improve your golf game. So here we have the before picture of a, a student of mine who is a single digit handicap. He's about an eight, but that was struggling with this same issue. Um, so this was um, his initial transition. And you could see here how he's failing to close that gap slightly between his left side and that red line. Um, so as he gets there through the hitting area, he is definitely hanging back a little bit. He was um, struggling with uh, getting good compression on his irons and he was also pulling the ball slightly at this time. So we had him working on that same drill. The only difference was he was using an impact bag instead of a, um, uh, instead of a range bucket. Either one will work just fine. But you could see how much more aggressive his left side was started to become as he, as he initiated his downswing. So his whole left side was getting back to that red line and really just establishing a good firm left side as he makes his transition. And that theme would just would continue down into the hitting area. You notice the impact position there. He is much more stacked with that entire left side from his foot to his left knee to his left hip to his left shoulder. Rather than this one, there's just a little bit of a, uh, of a hang back move. You can see the left side just angling back slightly as, he is, um, as he's striking this golf ball. Um, from there, that theme would continue on into the finish. And we wouldn't really see just that, that um, positive finish with all the momentum and all the energy going towards the target like we see more so here. Um, and that's definitely a trait we see in good ball strikers. All that energy is going right to the target. This was a normal golf swing after doing the drill. Uh, he probably did it for about five to eight minutes. And um, you can still see here a lot of improvement with that transition and through swing as he's working through the hitting area. As he makes that transition, you're going to see just like the counterfall drill there, right? The entire left side getting back and closing that gap, not just the bottom half. 
that entire left side getting up, 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 up against that left, that red wall there. And from there, just a much, much better position to hit through that golf ball. Nice firm left side, everything driving up and through and into a great balance finish right over his left side. So from that point, he was able to start the ball more on line. He didn't pull it anymore, and he probably gained at least a club in distance because the ball wasn't going up. It was going out much more so.